Hey everyone, Couch Investor here with another video for you today. So in today's video, we're going to talk about Pinterest. Like I mentioned in my last video, my last video was about Spotify. If you haven't watched that, I think it's going to pop up right here. I really suggest you go watch it because it's one of my better videos and it's well very informative, especially if you're looking into buying Spotify after you've heard about the Joe Rogan deal. And well, I think Spotify is a very good stock to have. It's in my growth portfolio as well and I see a great future for that company. Now in today's video we're going to talk about Pinterest and it's the same thing. I think Pinterest has been undervalued for, for quite a while and rightfully so. Um, so before I begin, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please help me grow the channel by subscribing and if you like the content you see, hit that uh, thumbs up. Now without further ado, let's dive into it. So first of all, a bit about Pinterest as a company. What is Pinterest? Well, it's basically actually a social media uh, company platform, but mostly focused on rather communicating one with each other, posting subjects and whatever. It's mostly about posting pictures, pinning those pictures on your, your own Pinterest board, etc. Now, recently Pinterest became the third largest social media platform in the world behind Instagram and Facebook. Number four is uh, Snapchat. So that's quite a big deal, especially if you're an investor in, in the company. Now, basically the idea of Pinterest is you see a nice picture on their website or on the app, and you basically take that picture and you pin it on your board or your bookmark it on your board. Now, what are those pictures? Those basically, if you're I don't know, planning a wedding, a birthday or whatever. So you probably will go and look for some ideas. You see a nice picture, you pin it, you put it on your board. Now, currently there are uh, on average about 335 million monthly users on Pinterest. And now, so you might ask yourself, how does Pinterest make money just by me pinning a picture on my board? Well, Pinterest makes money like uh, Facebook and Google by advertising. Now, promoting pins, partnerships with big companies such as Lowe um, and other retail stores. Basically, they pay Pinterest to promote their products, their pins on people's uh, browsing page or basically putting their products on top. Same thing as what happens with, with Google Ads, for example. You will see the first couple of, of uh, links in your search mentioned ads on the sites, so basically the same on, uh, on Pinterest. And obviously for every sale that happens on Pinterest, they get a, a percentage of that. Now, last year, Pinterest made $4 per user, which is growing year over year. I think 15 picture is going to pop up right here. 15% global growth year over year, 26% um, in the US and 122% international year over year growth revenue per user that is which is great because at the beginning uh, pinterest was very focused on on the us market but now more and more you see international growth and that is also why um, the company has surpassed uh, the 1 billion dollar uh, revenue cap it's something that investors really wanted to see maybe a bit earlier than than than, it, than now but uh, eventually they got there they're supposed to be uh, profitable by the end of 2020 or 2021 because well now with the outbreak uh, situation maybe that would be postponed for next year but if they become profitable for next year that would be great but now let's talk a bit about some some difficulties and some big advantages uh, from for the company itself all right so you might ask yourself well if facebook and google are their main competitors why should I invest in Pinterest, which is less popular and, and way smaller than, than those two companies? Well, let me tell you this. When people go on Facebook or on Google, they just go there to browse and look at stuff and like and comment and whatever. And maybe sometime they go and buy something. Big advantage on Pinterest is most people that go on Pinterest, which is mostly women at the moment, is they're going there because, well, they're maybe a life event happening uh, currently in, in their lives. So let's say they are planning a wedding. They are trying to have some renovations inside their home. They are planning a birthday party. 
maybe gardening or whatever, they're already going into the app with a mindset of finding something to buy, which is a huge um, advantage for Pinterest because on Facebook, people just go on Facebook to browse, to look at pictures of friends or whatever. But on Pinterest, most people go there and look at things to buy. They pin it, put it on their board, and they're more likely to spend money when they are browsing the app. As you can see here on the picture, 57% of, of people that re responded about Pinterest said that they're going there to, to just view some pictures, some photos, maybe videos as well, that's 19%. But 48%, which is the largest numbers of all social media channels, said that they're going there to find and shop for products. So that's one of the huge advantages. It's 48% for Pinterest, 10% Instagram, 14% Facebook, 4% Snapchat, and only 7% Twitter. Obviously on Twitter, uh, people just go there to, to be toxic, in my opinion. So that's one of the huge advantages that Pinterest has, is that people go on the app and already open sort of their wallet to spend money. Now, how do I see Pinterest's future growth? Well, I think as of now, they're doing a great job expanding internationally. Maybe they, they could expand even further because um, as of now, the revenue per user internationally is still under $1. If they can bring it to a dollar in one year or two, that would be awesome. Also, if they could maybe focus more on men to go on, on Pinterest, that would grow their demographics even further and maybe grow their revenue and user engagement even further. Because I don't know, me personally, I don't have a Pinterest account but I know my mom has a Pinterest account. I think my sister has a Pinterest account. A big negative thing for me on Pinterest is I think a big negative for most of the people out there that do not engage with Pinterest and just want to view and browse their, their pictures and videos is that you have to sign up to actually view a picture. I think I speak for most of us is that you see a nice picture on Google, you click on it, you see Pinterest, you're like, oh, forget it, I'm never going to view the picture because you have to sign up to actually view the picture, which is quite annoying uh, and rightfully so, but maybe that's one of the ways to get more users on the platforms, who knows. And let's just look quickly at a graph and let's wrap this up. All right, so let's quickly look at the graph right here. As you can see, the stock is pretty, pretty young. It peaked at uh, $36. In my opinion, that shouldn't be a problem in, in the next year or so if everything goes accordingly. So let's look at our situation right here. Before the outbreak, the stock was at $27. Everything was well and bright, but then it went back down to around $10 or so. Since then, it's been on the rise, like the whole market, as you can see. So I drew a couple of, of support and resistance lines. Um, as you can see at $25, we will have huge resistance, but I think that shouldn't be a problem moving forward, especially if the company turns uh, profitable in the next year or so, and that would begin a new baseline in the, the long term and should be a new support line. Now at the moment, as you can see, I drew this a couple of days ago already. Um, we are currently at a mini resistance line at the $20 mark, $21 mark or so. If we break that in the next couple of days, I would like to see it go a bit sideways to become a, a base and then follow the uptrend line to that $25 mark. If that fails, I would see us go back to around $18, which is about 12% decrease and then go back up the uptrend line to the point we're at today, $20 or so. So for me, crucial is the next coming days, whether or not we will break that $20, $21 mark and then continue sideways a bit up towards $22, $23 or so, continue the uptrend line nicely as well. I picked it up at around $18, um, so I'm fine with it going back down to $18, I would, could pick up even more, but I'm also very happy if it would go back up to its original uh, original place of being, which is around $25 as well. So as you can see, the price is really looking to go back to its 
$25 range, between $20 and $25 range, maybe create a, a little base right there. But overall, I think Pinterest is a very, very good stock to pick up at the $20 range. And even if it goes a bit lower, it's even a better price. But I don't see that happening maybe in the near future, depending on the market's uh, situation right now. But overall, I think Pinterest can tap in that advertising uh, market, which is expected to grow to around $826 billion by 2020. We can see Pinterest revenue, uh, well, growing 51% last year to $1.14 billion, like I said before. Uh, their monthly average users also grew to 26%. So as you can see, um, the company is growing at a rapid uh, pace right now. It's been slow at the beginning, but I think they are slowly but surely picking uh, the pace up. Also good to know is that Pinterest is valued similarly to Facebook and Twitter, but they are, are outgrowing both of them at the moment. So if you are looking at Facebook and Twitter, you might also consider a uh, Pinterest stock. I'm a Pinterest stock holder. So, well, I'm very happy with my position. And if it goes back lower, I might buy even more. So that will be it for this video. If you liked it, please leave it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, maybe now is the time to hit that subscribe button and maybe go look at some of my other videos. Um, I talked about Spotify, some hotel stocks, cruise stocks, casino stocks, and I revealed my growth portfolio to you guys as a thank you for my 500 followers mark. So I wish you guys all a wonderful day. Take care, stay safe, and see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.